father wields the dark Milner, descends to his throne of thought. To answer your question, as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers, 85,000 strong, I think. Keeps going up all the time. Let me see, am I 85,000? 86,000 strong. <laughs> all right, so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bitches. So, young Magnesite writes me, and this is what he says. Uh, if you make a vid on this, please keep my name anonymous, all right? Look, Miguel, we all family here, okay? You ain't got to worry about nobody knowing your name because I ain't going to say it. All right, now. Says, yo, Tyrone, how are you doing? I'm a student during year 11. Over the past two years, I've hung with a bunch of guys who I get along with but aren't that socially confident in school around others. I would say I'm the alpha male of the group, seeing as I'm... Uh, what some would call a jock. However, I hang around with them. Then I started hanging around with another group of students, fellow jocks, and we got along pretty good. At times, the nerdy group makes me feel held back because they won't talk much with everyone, unlike me. And so my question is, what do you think I should do? Should I stay in the nerdy group, be loyal to my old friends, yet held back, or hang around with the jocks, new friends who don't hold me back. You might say, why not both? But that's because they both pretty much hate each other. And so I feel like I can only hang with one. Thanks, Tyrone. By the way, your videos still kick ass, and I love the new Magnus Reacts intros. One million subscribers, woo. So, you want to know what to do, jock or nerd? Why not be the bridge between the two species so that you can both form one group, one family? <laughs> um, I'm going to tell you what I would tell a little brother. Don't pick a side. Hang with who you want to hang with. If you feel a loyalty to a good few friends, then I don't see anything wrong with being loyal to them as long as you do not allow them to hold you back. Okay? I understand what you mean. If you're more outgoing, you like to talk to people, you like to have fun, when you have guys that may not be very confident in themselves, you know, they would feel like that they hold you back. And I, I get what you're saying. You know, as an adult, I hang more with people that I feel are going somewhere in life who are more positive and confident about themselves, who just want more out of life, who do, just don't want to sit around and drink and fucking smoke. And I know guys like that. That... I'm still cool with, but we don't hang as much anymore. You understand that? <laughs> so that's what I would do if I were you. If the jocks really are a positive influence on you, you feel really comfortable around them. They're confident. You're having a great time. You feel built up. Okay then you may have to choose one side more than the other. But you don't have to totally abandon your other friends, okay? Uh, it's funny because the email almost sounds like, you know, a TV, you know, like a special or a movie, you know, where the nerds don't like the jocks and jocks don't like the nerds, you know, or the, uh, you know, the hot girls don't like the nerdy girls and nerdy girls don't like the hot girls, you know what I mean? That's what it sounds like to me. Like, you've got to pick a side and you can't have those friends. You can. It's just, you're just going to have to, uh, um, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. You're just going to have to, you know, uh, divide your time in a different way. I mean, you got to do what makes you happy. 
And seriously, I mean, if the athletes are really who you feel better around, if, I mean, you know, if they really are a positive influence, and it's not like on TV where they're all arrogant, conceited assholes picking on the nerds and beating them up and making fun of them. If they're not like that and they really are a cool group of people, then why not hang more with them since they make you feel better? You know, uh, I was just talking to someone on the phone earlier and she was telling me about how negative one of her friends is and how she always feels like she drags her down and she always sees the negative side of things and she's just like man you know but they've been friends since high school and she's been f they both work for um a, they both do a similar job and the other one's been fi fired like four times in their industry in in less than a year She's like, I, I don't know what to do because I feel like I'm a bad friend, but I don't want to be around her. Okay, so totally understand. Like I said, as I started, I tell you, as I started to get older, there are certain friends that I am still friends with who I would give the shirt off my back for. And they would do the same for me, but they're very negative. And even though I'm a positive person, I haven't been able to help them or influence them. So I don't see them as much as I used to, but I still see them. I still love them, they're still my friends, and they always will be. But there are other friends that I have now who are much more positive, who I'd much rather be around and have a conversation with. You know what I mean? Because I, they only build me. You know what I'm saying? Um, I saw a meme online the other day and it said something about like, if my crew doesn't look like this, then I don't want to have a crew or I don't want to hang with you. And it was a pack of lions. You get what I'm saying? So if, you know, you're used to, um, I don't know, hanging with the wildebeest who maybe have no direction and they're always getting preyed upon by life, you want to be on the top of the food chain. You done found the jocks, the lions, okay? And maybe they are the ones who are, you feel more in the pack. It's like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like we're all roaming together, and I feel good, I feel strong, I feel confident with these guys. But the other ones, it's just like, what the fuck? I'm always scared. I think something's going to happen. Don't feel confident. Maybe you feel like a, a gazelle about to get choked out by a lion, you know what I mean? And so I understand. I totally understand. If I were you, I'd go with the group that makes you feel happy, but I wouldn't totally alienate my other friends because if they are true friends if they are true friends you true friends are really hard to find and you want to keep them but sometimes through your own actions and influence you can bring your friends up you can make you can um, you know influence them to become more positive and confident like you and that could be the reason why you're even in that group they may have brought you into the fold because you're the guy that has that X factor that they just don't have. They look to you for direction. They look to you as their leader, the alpha, because you're confident, you're the jock. Maybe you get more girls than them. And maybe there's something about them that you gravitate to. Remember, they were your friends first. So apparently a part of you sinks in with them, okay? Connects with them. So that's why I say, you know, I mean, I got, I got a couple of geek out of like some people call me a geek for the way I act. I mean, I got people that I'm cool with that you be like, why the fuck do you hang with him? You know what? Cause he's a good guy and they're on a certain level we do connect. I don't I mean I hang with him as much. Trust me, it, there's this one guy, oh my god. I've told him over and over. He used to call me for advice all the time because he wasn't confident. He always put on a facade. He was a guy that chicks caught, thought was good looking, but he couldn't get one to stick with him. He, it was just, he was just a complete mess. But I, I could be his friend. I could talk to him from time to time. I could hang with him from time to time, but I couldn't hang with him the majority of the time because eventually he would bring me down. So I was just a good friend to him and did what I could. And that's what you have to do. So. You have to hang with the jocks, hang with the jocks. Be happy, be confident, be outgoing, do your thing. But 
when your other friends need you or you feel a need to talk to them or hang with them, go ahead and do it. But don't alienate either one. Don't get rid of either one just because they don't like each other. I'm friends with certain people that don't like other people. And I don't care because that's your beef, not mine. Understand? One million subscribers. Woo! You may now subscribe.